हेलो एंड वेलकम नाउ इन दिस वीडियो वी शेल सी चार्जिंग एंड डिस्चार्जिंग ऑफ ए कैपेसिटर सो हियर आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू सो फर्स्ट आई विल राइट डाउन इट हियर चार्जिंग एंड डिस्चार्जिंग ऑफ अ कैपेसिटर फॉर दिस वी हैव टू मेक ए सर्किट सो आई विल जस्ट मेक अ सर्किट डाइग्राम हियर सो फॉर दिस पर्पज वी नीड अ रेजिस्टर से कैपिटल आर एंड अ कैपेसिटर वी हैव टू कनेक्ट इन सीरीज विद दैट and then we have a battery over here and i will connect one more path over here and this here now when we connect this point to this one then there will be charging of the capacitor capital c and when we connect this point over here then there will be discharging of the capacitor now to measure the voltage across capacitor we have to connect a voltmeter in parallel to the capacitor now here in this case you can see that this is our circuit and here we have this resistor equal to its value is 100 kilo ohm and the value of the capacitor which we are using is 1000 microfarad so i will just show you here this r is equal to 100 kilo ohm now if i want to convert it into ohm it will be 100 multiplied by 10 raised to power 3 ohm so this is the value of resistor and the value of capacitor is 1000 microfarad so i will write down this here capital c is equal to 1000 microfarad now if i want to convert this microfarad into farad then this capital c will be equal to 1000 multiplied by 10 raised to power minus 6 farad so now the theoretical value of the rc time constant is nothing but product of r and c therefore the rc time constant t is equal to r multiplied by c now here we have value of r as 100 multiplied by 10 raised to power 3 ohm and multiplied by value of this uh capacitor is 1000 multiplied by 10 raised to power minus 6 farad so if you find out the product of this this 1000 and uh, this 10 raised to power 3 and 10 raised to minus 6 all of them they will get cancelled here because it will be 10 raised to plus 6 and 10 raised to minus 6 they will be 10 raised to power 0 that is 1 and this will be 100 multiplied by that 10 raised to 0 so that means what it will be equal to 100 now this capital t is equal to 100 second this is nothing but the time constant of our circuit by using theoretical calculations now we shall see the how to find out time constant using practically okay so for this purpose we have to go for two modes one is charging mode and another one is the discharging mode so i will just show you here for charging mode i will make this table here for charging of the capacitor and here we have to note down time of course time will be measured in second here and we have to note down voltage voltage will be measured in volt and there will be serial numbers so we will take these readings at 0 second then we have to take it at 30 second 60 second 90 second and so on so uh, now this circuit is already connected here as per our uh this one uh, as per our this circuit so just i had connected a voltmeter in parallel to it and uh, we will just switch over this towards this battery that is capital v i will call it as a capital v 
and then we will note down the charging readings ok. So, I will just make it on here and for charging purpose I have to keep this on 20 volt I will keep it on 20 volt DC AC both are there, but I will measure DC voltage here we are measuring and I will make this stopwatch on and simultaneously I will make this charging on. So, initially for 0 actually there is no voltage across the voltmeter therefore, we will call it as say 0 0.00 volt ok. Now, I will make this stopwatch as well as this mobile both simultaneously on. So, you can show both of them here uh, uh, in the video. So, I will just make both of them simultaneously on 1, 2, 3 start. Now, after 30 seconds, we have to note down reading. See here, there is already 20 seconds over and the reading is 3 point something yeah 28.9 now it is 4.24. So, I will note down this reading here 4.24 volt then for 60 second we have to note down the next reading. So, now it is 50 seconds now see here now it is for it is again same thing. So, it is almost constant now for all the other readings here. So, that means what at this time the capacitor is fully charged. Now, uh, we have to plot a graph of a uh, voltage against time here. So, for charging of a capacitor we have to plot a graph of voltage against time. So, this graph will be like this. voltage against time in second voltage will be in volts and the time will be in second. So, for charging we will get graph of this type it will go on increasing and at certain limit it will become positive uh, sorry at certain point it will become constant. So, at this point it has become constant here now even if we further keep it on it will not go further ok. Now, what we have to do is after plotting this graph you have to just find out what is the value of this voltage ok and you have to multiply that voltage by a factor say 0 0.632. So, you have to multiply this voltage I will call it as say V max and you multiply this by 0 0.632. So, it will give some multiplied by V max and you find out this value, this value will be somewhere say here, 
then you draw a straight line from here to here it will cut this curve over this point and you draw a perpendicular here on our time axis. Then this time is nothing but the time constant capital T by using charging this is by using charging. Now same thing we have to do for discharging purpose also. So, for discharging what I have to do is uh, you can show this uh, circuit for discharging I will change this switch here and uh, while changing this switch I will reset this clock again now and I will change this switch back here to discharging mode. That means what I will connect this this point over here and battery will be disconnected from the circuit. So, and then I will start the time 1, 2, 3 start. Now, it will be discharging maximum voltage initially say it was around 15 volt actually. So, okay, I will write down this one this maximum of this one that is 14.83. So, at 0 second we have 14.83 as the maximum voltage and after 30 second we will note down this next reading now. So, you can see for 30 second almost 25 seconds are over. So, it is dis discharging now very fast it is discharging. So, it is yeah it is 10 almost it is 10 volt then for 60 seconds we have to note down then for uh, now we shall see the discharging of a capacitor. Now, for discharging of capacitor we have to connect this point over here so that the battery will be out of this circuit and we have to note down the discharging readings with time. So, I will write down this time in second and the discharging reading that is the voltage in volt. So, first we will start from 0 volt then 30 volt then we have 60 sorry uh, first we will start with 0 second 30 second 60 second 90 second 120 second and so on. So, I will just uh, change over this switch here the maximum reading we have for the charging was 14.83. So, I will note down that and I will change this switch here and I will start the timing. Now, see here it is discharging very fast. Now, for 30 second we have to note down the reading. You can see it is now 17 seconds. Yeah, for 30 second we have 10.68. Then next reading we have to note down for 60 seconds. So, for 60 second we have 7.74, then next reading we will note down for 90 seconds, yeah you can 90 second means 1 minute and 30 seconds. Yeah, it is 5.84. Next reading will be for 120 seconds.
and the next reading is for 420 seconds that is 7 minutes yeah it is almost 0 0.04 now uh, uh, ideally actually for a capacitor it requires infinite time to fully discharge a capacitor now we have got these readings then we have to plot a graph of voltage against time so here we have voltage in volts versus time in second so this graph will be like this ideally it will take infinite time to discharge it fully then we have to note down this maximum voltage that is Vmax and by noting down this Vmax you have to multiply this by 0.368 so 0.368 multiplied by Vmax so whatever this value is there you have to note down that value and from that value you just draw a straight line so that it will cut this uh, curve and from that point where it cuts this curve you draw a perpendicular on the time axis and this time will give nothing but what time constant constant so in this way we have done the time constant by all the three different ways one is nothing but directly by using rc time constant by using the theoretical calculations secondly we have done rc time constant by using the charging graph and finally we have done rc time constant by discharging graph i hope that you understand this experiment if you have any difficulties you can ask me in the comment section do like subscribe share and comment and i am very much thankful to all of you and especially i am thankful to sam for helping me in arranging and recording this video thank you very much